Hello, hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 3. Probably the last episode. As you can see here, I have a fantastic collection of model ships. And before we go to complete Mass Effect 3, we are going to do the crewmate invite to the uh, cabin. So let's start off with that. Liara. You had something you wanted to discuss in my cabin? Yes, I'll be right up. Come on in. Thank you. Could we sit? I've been thinking about the knowledge we gathered on the Reapers, and how easily it could be lost again. So... I put a plan in motion to preserve things for the future. What's this? A record of the galaxy. Information on the Reapers, relays, different cultures, and blueprints of the Crucible. But there's one entry I wanted your opinion on. Which one? Your own. Aww. I'd be honored to have your input. How would you like history to remember you? <laughs> Are you sure it'll last? Well, I think she got the inspiration from the Prothean Beacon, so I'll assume her tech is up to scratch. I <laughs> make me inspiring. This is for Shameless Shepherd. I think just be honest is nice. I'll I'll let you decide. Your opinions of me should be more honest, I would assume. You know me well enough to fill in the blanks, Liara. Are you sure? Yeah. I'd like it to be your call. I'll start by saying Commander Shepard was born on Earth and fought harder than anyone else for his home world. Oh. Shepard was an extremely talented biotic and one of the most powerful fighters in the Alliance. Flatterer. He was a soldier and a leader, one who made peace where he could. And it was a privilege to know him. No. Oh. Careful, this doesn't sound like a diary. <laughs> I can't help myself. You're a good friend, Shepard. How are you, Liara? Nice to hear. What an ass. <laughs> You've been there for me too, Liara. No, I haven't. I wish I could have joined you back on Ilium. It's okay. You made up for it. Well, I suppose I did just write your name in the stars. Yes, you did. But we won't be needing it because we are going to win, damn it. Trainer. Trainer, if you're not doing anything, I've got a few hours free. Would you like to come up? Your cabin is gorgeous. I've seen apartments smaller than this. <laughs> well, Commander, ready to play? Play? I picked up a chessboard on the Citadel. GUI interface, not nearly as nice as real pieces, but this takes up less space. And I recall you delivered something that closely resembled a challenge. So, interested? Oh god, Shepard, I think you've bitten off more than you can chew. This is a trap, isn't it? I'm just a simple lab scientist, Commander. I'm sure your real-world expertise will give you an edge. No, it won't. <laughs> Shepard, run. Ha! Oh, come on. <laughs> My word, Commander. It's almost as though you wanted to spare your pawns the indignity of living under my regime. In real life, that tactic would have worked. Well, in real life, one doesn't move on an 8x8 eight eight square grid. You know what I mean. The pawns are infantry. A good infantry line, like the Krogan, can take a charge like that. That reminds me of a joke. What's the difference between Commander Shepard and a Krogan? One is an unstoppable juggernaut of head-butting destruction. And the other doesn't have a smart-ass comm officer to keep him in line. <laughs> Ooh, that's even better than the number of testicles punchline. Oh, I was gonna say that. <laughs> I'm glad you can run back to the lab, trainer. 
Thanks. So, rematch? Hell yes. You're on, bitch. <laughs> oh, it's nice to see her coming out of her shell. Yeah, so... Krogans have four testicles, apparently. That's why they're called quads. You know, four. <laughs> Trainer, can you send up Diana Allers? She wants to talk to me. She's on her way, Commander. I mean, it's a little late, but, you know. I'm sure you've got a million questions. I narrowed it down to 40. Let's see how you do with the top 10. Commander, the last time most of us heard about Geth, they were attacking the Citadel alongside Sovereign. Yes, and you should know that was a minority of the Geth. Most of them are not hostile to organics. Is that how you explain that they're allies and no longer dangerous robots who stick humans on spikes? Dude, don't don't zoom in on me when you ask a question like that. Let Al Jalani tell you what happened to her. What you have to realize is that despite their reputation, most Geth are not inherently violent. The Quarians attacked them. The Geth fought back in self-defense, just like any organic would. Now that we've freed the Geth from Reaper control, they'll want payback for their enslavement. But you're going to take an army of synthetics to fight Reapers with untold hacking abilities. What's keeping the Reapers from reprogramming the Geth like they have before? Legion's upgrades. The Geth are extremely intelligent, and they put incredible thought into solving this problem. They're not going to turn again. I bet my life on it. Now here's a question from a Batarian on Omega. Commander Shepard, if the mass relays can be destroyed... So did I miss anything? Do you have any questions? You gonna go file your story now? Well, if you don't mind. Go tell the galaxy what we've done. They could use some good news. Aye aye, Commander. What was that weird pop? I think there was a branching dialogue. You can have a one night stand with her. But if you're romanced, it doesn't give you that option. Desperate measures. James, I've got some time if you want to talk privately. Why? Did he say he wanted to talk privately? I can't remember. Hey man, how's it going? Good, James. You? Good, good. Wow. So this is what I can look forward to when I get my own command. Huh. You want your own ship, Vega? Yeah, maybe one day. When I'm old and I can't fight worth shit anymore. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> you just come up here to make fun of your commander? Sorry, loco. I guess maybe I got some things on my mind. I, I wanted to get your opinion on something. Okay. Shoot. What did you do when they asked you to join the N7 program? Ah. I mean, was it a no-brainer for you, or did you think about it before accepting? I think you definitely have to think it through, because there will be pros and cons, and you have to weigh, the weigh them against what you want. The N7 program is a big deal. But it's also a big commitment. Yeah. I hear that. You get the best training, best equipment, best assignments. And they expect the best in return. True. Yes, they do. Why are you asking? Well, even all the shit that's going on, somebody somewhere managed to track me down and forward an N7 commendation. No, that's great. It's dated the same day the Reapers attacked Earth. Oh. You don't sound too thrilled. Well, aside from the fact that there won't be an N7 program if we don't win this war, I just... Being a soldier is the only thing I've ever been really good at. And not because I try. I allowed to kick my ass out years ago. Last time I had a command, I lost almost everyone. And they promoted me for it. I guess I'm just not sure if I'm ready to lead again. I don't know if I want that responsibility. You mentioned that before. What went wrong? <sighs> what didn't go wrong? <sighs> we were out on patrol checking on some strange readings. And the collectors hit. Oh, they that hit the one. colony first. By the time we got back, most of the colonists had been subdued or abducted, including our CO, Captain Tony. So you were in charge? Yeah. We laid low for a bit, waiting for a chance to strike, but before we could, we were betrayed. One of the colonists turned out to be a Cerberus spy working with the collectors. I had no choice. I killed him and destroyed the collector ship. But it got ugly. We lost most of the colonists and all but one of my squad. Not exactly a textbook operation. I mean, 
in the heat of battle, it's not something that you can really control. Ideally, yes, you would like to make it out with everybody, but sometimes it's just doing the best that you have. Dude, what the fuck? This, this option, no. You can't blame yourself for being put in a tough situation. And if you were promoted, then something must have gone, right? Sure, but if you'd saved them all, would things have worked out better? I... I don't know. I don't think so. The right choice is usually not the easy one. Yes. Yeah. Did you know that before you joined the N7? Yeah. That's why I was asked. And it's why they asked you. There's not a single N7 that hasn't sacrificed. Either themselves or their soldiers at some point. So you think I should accept? I think so. I think you'd make a good N7, actually. Assuming we survive this, that's a no-brainer. You're a damn good soldier, Vega. Don't waste that opportunity. I'll think about it. Seriously. You should. If you don't mind, maybe don't mention this to anyone else. Why? Of course not. Gracias. Well, I think I better get back to the hangar. Things here are a little too soft for me. Uh. The bed's a lot harder than it looks. I'll take your word for it. Thanks again, loco. Anytime. That's a weird thing for Shepard to say to Vega. <laughs> I think it's for female Shepard when... Because I think Fem Shep can romance James. So with that comment, I guess you would have a quickie? Maybe. I don't know. Oh, is that it? Oh, nothing else. I thought Garrus had something. Or maybe that comes later. Should I have a quick peek and see if there's anyone who wants to add anything? Like, I'm expecting Garrus to want to come up to the cabin, but I don't remember... It could have been a Femship romance option. Later. Ah, alright. So then, if Garrus doesn't have anything to add, then probably no one else will. Who else do we have? Javik? Javik doesn't need that. Caden comes later. Who else? Tali. Tali doesn't have that either. Alright. Wait, what? I thought I cleared it out. Lunch? If you'd like to meet up for lunch, I'll be in the Citadel Arcade area. Hopefully see you there. Ah, so this is the... I think if I'm not wrong, she has a chess game. She's like entering a tournament. It's a little late for that. We could take a look. If anybody wants, I can record it separately off, off cam. And then, well, off this episode, and then upload it as a standalone. Otherwise, I think for now we can skip it because it's the Citadel lunchtime or Citadel interactions with the squad members. Oh, here we go. This is it. Once we're in here, there's no turning back. Oh, it's so bittersweet. Especially following the Citadel DLC missions. Because ideally you'd like to see it end there, but... You know, some things are out of our control. The Legendary Edition looks great, but so far I've only been watching everyone play the... Mass Effect 1 remake, which showcases more of the overhaul which looks so good and the gameplay looks n better but it still looks a little dated i think i'm not sure what me2 and me3 brings in terms of the legendary edition all right here we go chrono station the mla or mia no it should be mla mla red supergiant and an anadias Anad Anadias? Why is that so hard to pronounce? <laughs> it's a minor footnote on the star maps of the Horsehead Nebula. A cold, dying star. 
Not listed on any charts, an unobtrusive space station is nearly imperceptible in the star's periodic bursts of solar output. ED's advisory, the size and shape of the station suggests many ships could dock in it. Precise measurements would require active scans, which would reveal the Normandy's presence. Let's not do that. Let's, let's head in. Shepard, the intel you sent looks good. The fleets are ready to go. But? Once we're committed against Cerberus, it won't be long before the Reapers take notice. And the Crucible? Oh, nice! Except for the Catalyst. But there's no way to hide the ships we'll be sending at Cerberus. Once we attack, the Crucible won't stay safe for long. For all intents and purposes, an assault on Cerberus will be the first stage of our attack on Earth. What happens if Cerberus doesn't have the intel we need? Or they stop us from getting it? Then we lead the fleets to Earth and we take our chances. But your intel points to Cerberus and the elusive man holding the information we're looking for. And we have the element of surprise. Cerberus won't know what hit him. So I guess let's wait, then we go back to the galaxy map, but... I think we're ready, if I'm not wrong, for the war assets, for the best, so-called best ending, you want 7,000 military strength, and you can up that by playing multiplayer. I, I, honestly speaking, I still see quite an active community, but I guess it's relatively minor compared to everything else, to boost it up. I think we should have enough for the best ending, so we go now. The Reapers and Cerberus started this. Now we're gonna end it. I'll get the fleets mobilized. Here we go. Let's kill that bastard. Oh? Oh. Oh, it really is the end. <laughs> Sleep either? No. Making yourself crazy with this won't help. Caden, I need to. Shh. Just take five minutes, a quick drink, and then I'll go. Shepard, you know that you've done everything you could, right? Well, technically not everything, but. I hope so. I keep running the numbers to see if I've missed something. You don't have to take this all on yourself. Look to your crew, to the talented people fighting by your side. What you've accomplished since the Reapers arrived is, it's just nothing short of amazing. It's, it's gonna be, it's gonna be what it is. What are you thinking about right now? Ah, uh, the good times and the, the hard times. <laughs> it's been an unforgettable few years. And you were always so focused on the work back then. The mission was everything. It's true. I'll never know what I missed. You're exactly what I need right now. Caden. <laughs> I lied. I, I didn't come here for a quick drink. I bet. <laughs> Five minutes, my ass. Oh dear. Go get him. Shepard. 
Is that Morden's voice? Does this have a soul? Yes, always. You are a great protector, Siha. But some things are beyond even you. Siha? Th Thane? Shepard. Ashley. Oh, that's a nice blanket. It's gorgeous. <sighs> What's up? Are we going to make it, Caden? We're ready. You've put the people together, the vision, and what you've done, Shepard, is build hope. Well, I'm glad I inspired that in you. But sometimes, you're right. Give us hope and a fighting chance? Hell, the Reapers better watch themselves. I think that's the tenderest you'll ever see, Shepard. The strike team is in. We've got our foothold. Fifth Fleet, all forward. I don't want a single server ship in my sky when we're through. Shepard, I should accompany you on this mission. Why? This is the central point of operations for Cerberus. They will have enhanced security measures. With my knowledge of Cerberus algorithms and this body's updated protocols, I offer the best chance to help you succeed. Grab your gear. It's a fair point. After all, she is based on their tech, or they designed her. She should be able to... do away with their stuff. I think also it's because of the mandatory lines. If that's the case, then she'll cover tech. I need someone to cover biotics because of the phantoms. So it'll either be Liara, I think, I think Caden because of the Reeve. The Reeve is good for breaking down armor and barriers. Joker, what's our status? We've got a foothold, but it's not much, Commander. A lot of fighters guarding the launch base. Can you get us in? Hey. I got us to Ilos. I can do this. Fair enough. Might be a bumpy ride, though. Do what you can. Shepard, I am ready. Wait, wh what? Are you crazy? You can't go to Cerberus headquarters. They could have a virus or a kill switch or... I will be fine, Jeff. Head to the shuttle, Edie. That sounded really... Fifth Fleet's cut through their line. They're regrouping. Now's as good a time as any. Sounded really commanding. <laughs> like she was telling him off. I know it hurts. Not being able to go with her. Yeah, it sucks. Thanks for bringing that up. Well, technically hey, you are Shepherd, in her. Keep her safe. I will. Same to you. No, that looks so fucking cool.
Oh, nice. Bloody Avenger. I don't need an Avenger, damn it. Everything okay? All right, let's do this shit. Dude, I fought my clone. This is going to be easy. No, it's not. <laughs> Where? Oh, there you are. Nice. Good job, dude. Commander, watch out! Oh, fuck it. Commander, mech's inbound! Mech? Where? Where's the mech? Alright. Here we go. Thanks, Kaden. God damn. Kaden? Ooh, that was close. Alright. You two, come on. Let's do this. All right. Hmm. Are the shields still up? God damn it. Oh, run. Come on. Will it? Oh, okay. Oh, I can't see the shields. St st uh, stat status? Status? <laughs> uh, my words. They're not working. Is that a fucking... Oh. Come on, bitch. Nice. Perfect. Kaden, you know what to do. Why didn't mine? There you go. Oh. God damn, it's dramatic and exciting as hell. Achilles. Achilles. Cerberus intends to vent the hangar bay. Can you stop them? I need an active console. Try the upper level. All right, let's go. Oh, sorry. Where? Aha. Uh -huh. Go. Oh, is that something I could have? Oh, it looks like I could have gone in there. No. Shepard, we need to find a console and stop servers from venting the hangar. Yes, yes. Edie, I've got a console. Go. Hangar vent procedure. Disabled. Nice. Can you open the hangar? No. However, I can access their fighter launch controls. Ah. <laughs> Clever girl. Shepard, Cerberus is aware that the venting attempt failed. Reinforcements are inbound. That's fine. Bring him on. Oh, hi. Come on. Oh, shit. Ow. <laughs> that was... Another Cerberus team is inbound. Where? Guess they figured out what we're trying. They're not Front stopping back, us now. Left, right. Oh, God. Ooh. Is that going to grab anyone? Maybe not. Okay. You dodge that. Good for you, bitch. You know what? Fuck you. Oops. All right, let's wait for this to clear before we decide to go in. Where? Oh, sneaky. You see, how does that penetrate the crate, but mine doesn't? Nice. That looks good. Ah, launch controls. Are they? Oh, God. It certainly looks like them. Let's see what's in here first. P 
TDA credits. I I don't think I'll get the chance to spend my credits anymore. At least I don't think so. Overriding safeties. The fighters should now launch toward the hangar door. Perfect. Let's get down there. So is it actually gonna launch? Oops, sorry. Or should I need to go to the other side to launch it? Ah, from down here. Here we go. <laughs> Punch it. Oh my god. <laughs> nice work. The central lab was located behind this hangar. I suggest we follow the fighter's path. Noted. Let's move. Oh god, another one. Well, Rex would be very proud of you. Intruder alert. All, All right. Personnel prepare for security. Yes, yes, prepare for security crap. Whatever. Oh god. Hostile forces have breached the perimeter. All okay, that one's down. Research personnel. Lock all terminals yes. and destroy all data below classification level Epsilon. Epsilon. Oh, it's already down. Very nice. Yeah. Then I'll wait for Edie to do this and we'll do a one-two punch. Nice. Fucking nice. Beautiful. That was the last Cerberus team in this area. Let's move. Maybe we can catch them before they regroup. And this is why I keep Caden with me. Not because of that biotic ass, but because of that biotic reeve. Ta-da! Oh, there's nothing here. I'm not sure if it has something to do with Reeve reducing the armor before the detonation, or if it's to do with... Oh, that's a mod. Or if it's to do with, like, if Dark Channel would do the same thing. I would assume so, but I find that the combinations tend to work really well with Reeve. For whatever reason. Falcon. Oh, shit. I was supposed to go through here. Edie, can you get past? One moment. Cerberus has updated their encryption. There may be a slight delay as I bypass security. How's Cerberus reacting to us breaching the door? They are sealing off as much of the base as they can. Most obvious routes to the central lab are blocked. Other areas are being fortified. Heavy troopers will attempt to delay us while engineers set up turrets. Any more surprises like venting the hangar? No. I am aware of this facility's safeguards and can counteract them. Cerberus can merely slow us down. And if I hadn't brought you along... Cerberus would have vented the hangar. Ah. Thanks for coming. I am pleased to assist. We must proceed through a sublevel to avoid Cerberus containment measures. Where do you think we'll find the Prothean VI? A central lab at the heart of this facility. It is the most secure area. Following the destruction left by the fighter will offer the most direct route. Is it, just, is it just me or does her voice actress sound a little off? Like less human? Back to the old Edie. I wonder if the chronology of the voice acting differed? Like maybe they recorded this first? Oh ho. Nice. Where are you bouncing off to? Yep. It didn't just launch your powers. Oops. That should take two. Nice. That should catch him. Holy shit, you're tough. There's someone... Oh, God. It was a decoy. <laughs> Scared me. Double ED. God damn the music. Oh. Fuck. Nemesis. Did he know? Is she going to? Well, if she's not. Nice. There you go. I hear someone. Oh, hi. 
Uh, that's not going to do anything. Ah. Right in the leg. You took a sniper round to the knee. A lot of the people killed trying to stop us. Yep. Their intention to delay us, not stop us. Engineers are currently preparing an organized defense ahead. They can waste that many troops? Yes. Servers. Ah, shit. <laughs> Well, obviously they can, since they've huskified all their troops. We will be through momentarily. Shepard, that console has not been fully scrubbed. It contains data you may find interesting. What am I looking at? Project Lazarus, your reconstruction. Oh, shit. Then do I really want to see it? It can't be done. It's not a matter of resources. It's always a matter of resources. We're not losing Shepard. Sir, Shepard is clinically brain dead. After that much trauma, that long with no oxygen, we cannot overcome nature. Operative Lawson disagrees. She is now in charge of Project Lazarus. I didn't realize it was that bad. I thought you were just on life support. Clinically brain dead? Uh, no. What was it like? What was it like? I mean, if you remember. Or... How do you feel? I'm still me. I doubt I'd have been able to turn against Cerberus otherwise. I don't remember anything. Maybe they really just fixed me, or... Maybe I'm just a high-tech VI that thinks it's Commander Shepard. But I don't know, I... You're real enough for me. That's all that matters. Tissue regeneration is proceeding. The helmet kept the brain intact for whatever good that will do. Lawson will find a way. Sir, you realize that Shepard is a veteran of Akus. A Cerberus operation wiped out his entire squad. Shepard's a soldier. He knows the Reapers are the real threat. He'll work with us. He knew you well. Ah, so... Cerberus was, in ch was behind Akus. Every instinct I had told me not to trust Cerberus. But I needed their help. So I played along. You were trying to protect humanity. You didn't have a choice. Project Lazarus is reporting neurological activity. They're requesting more funding. Granted. Get me our potential recruits file. Shepard will be up soon. We need a crew. Our existing forces should be more than sufficient. No. We need sympathetic faces. I need Shepard invested. Tap Kelly Chambers and recruit Donnelly. I imagine Miss Daniels will follow. We'll want some old friends as well. Hmm. Contact Dr. Chakwas and send me the psych profile on Shepard's pilot, along with a bottle of 47 Thessia Red. He used those people as a shield. You never saw what Cerberus really was. Yeah, he he's basically the puppet master. He manipulated everything from the back end. How's that door coming, Edie? We are clear to proceed. Careful of the turrets, Edie. I think they're still around. Ooh, what's that? Looks like armor. Cerise Council Greaves. Nice. Detergent team, what's your status? We've cleared the hangar and are inside the base. Good work. Do you need support? Nope. Negative. Keep the heat on. We'll find what we need. We'll find what we need. Do we need to find something? Are we going down or up? Oh. oh. Alright, you two do this. Yep. Nice. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. Though I do hear it. I mean, that's a generator. Oh. Oh, hi. Oh, stop this bastard. There you go. All right, he's floating there. Nice. Nice. Who else? Oh, no, you don't. Dude, stop him. The engineers have another defense line ahead. Yes, I know I can see it. Alright. 
There you go. Is he still? Yep. We done? There's someone there. Nice. Fucking nice. Well done, Edie. Where's the generator? Or not generator, the shield pylon. Gotcha. Oh, another one. Hmm. Stop them before they place more turrets. Yep. Oh fuck. Okay. Ooh, let's kill him before he Nice. <laughs> oh, careful, Edie. Dude, don't you fucking touch Edie. Uh, a ooh, ah. Ah, missed. Where's the fucking... Oh. Alright. I should be able to... Ow. Fucking bitch. Good dodge. Now I just need to clear that. Kaden, if you don't mind. Nice. Very nice. Good teamwork. Nope, nothing. Alright. Let's -a go. Oh, there it is. Stupid fucking shield pylon. So annoying. And in a spot I couldn't catch. I will bypass the lock. If you are interested, the console nearby is still functional. Which one? This one? No, nothing there. Here. That's for Edie. You were that rogue VI on Luna? Yes. Guess we didn't exactly get off on the right foot. It was difficult. Gaining awareness while under attack was confusing. I am pleased that my relationship with organics has become more cooperative. Yeah, so am I. <laughs> Our sims indicate that the enhanced defense intelligence gives the highest combat improvement on frigates. Anything heavier, and the ships react too slowly to benefit from Edie's advice. Edie? Oh, that's, uh, well, the boys in the lab came up with a name for her. For it. Good work. I'll take your recommendations on planned installation. Sir, she... It can be very persuasive. If it were to turn a crewman, convince them to disable the shackles. Well... It's a cyber warfare suite, Doctor. Nothing more. Well, it did happen. Shows what he knew. It is unlikely that anyone without Jeff's extreme emotional attachment to his ship would have been willing to unshackle me. I would have. I don't know. With that voice? Oh yeah, <laughs> and Trainer would have as well. <laughs> what about the backups? I'm sorry, sir. None of Normandy's surveillance feeds have been responding since Shepard went rogue. I want it back. Retry the remote lockdown protocols. After our last attempt, Edie flooded our server with seven zettabytes of explicit images. <laughs> I think she was making a joke. It doesn't make jokes, Doctor. Allocate a team for a new project. Codename Eva. This time, we'll ensure it stays loyal. Bitch, please. Edie's the best. You can't replace her. Seven zettabytes? I think that's... It goes... Terabyte? 
petabyte and then zettabyte. <laughs> you never told me about Cerberus trying to shut down the Normandy. You had more pressing issues. The situation was under control. Thank you, Edie. Seven zettabytes? Most of it was Jeff's. That was... A joke. I know. And thank you. Why would someone need seven zettabytes of porn? <laughs> well, it is Jeff, I guess. Not surprised. Security lock. I can bypass it. Incursion team, are you still with us? We're limiting fire as best we can. Admiral, we're in deep and the Prothean BI will be in the safest part of the station. Don't hold back. This isn't a coup, Shepard. I want everyone to come out of this one alive. I'll be fine. Just take Cerberus down. Please. Understood, Commander. All ships, you're free to fire. Do it. So are these from the ship fire? Maybe. maybe. Is this the right way or are we supposed to go somewhere else? Ha! Ah. Here? Sounds like the Fifth Fleet just gave Cerberus a wake up call. Yep. They'll get it done. How are you holding up? I'm fine. Ready for action. Your eagerness is commendable, but the cybernetics take time to get used to, believe me. You really do remind me of Shepard. Don't insult me. Shepard betrayed you. Shepard was always going to stay true to his beliefs. He's wrong, but I can respect his decision. Finish your therapy and put together a plan for the Citadel. Counselor Udina is amenable. Yes, sir. I could have taken him. Absolutely. But the Council was your priority, not Shepard. Because of him, the Council is still in power. Shepard is keeping the Reapers occupied while our research progresses. But as it happens, I believe you'll find your chance for a rematch. Head to Thessia. Shepard will be there soon. And I want you waiting. How did they know that I was heading to Thessia? That's the question. Well, you're never going to get that chance, bitch, because I'm going to fuck you up. Well, I mean, those are past events, but I'm talking about him kicking my ass because it's not going to happen. Here? Yep. Oh. What is this thing? This is the human proto-reaper Shepard destroyed. What's left of it? I'm surprised Cerberus recovered that much from the base. I wish I could have helped. You're here now. Cerberus is actively using the surviving pieces. The central core, analogous to the heart, is largely intact. I believe Cerberus is using it for a power source. So, they're using Reaper tech at the heart of their construct. Does that mean... Is that how the indoctrination is happening? Oh, hold on a minute. If I remember correctly. More Cerberus forces en route. There you go. Looks like they're making their last stand. Yep, they are. Cerberus 
Oh shit, there's a shield. Uh hopefully there won't be more coming out from here. Oh fuck. Let's see if I can Yep. Perfect. Ah, you're all fucked now. Ooh. Can I get her? No. Was that a oh fuck. Heads up, they're flying in from below. Yep, I can see that. Nice. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Where's that from? Oh. Nice. Where? You fucking bitch. I could have sworn there was one more. One more phantom. So if you... If you didn't save Jack at Grissom Academy, you would fight her phantom here. Hmm. It's too quiet. I guess we're done. At least for this part. Fighting through this thing makes my skin crawl. It's like we're bugs crawling across a sleeping giant. It tried to kill me last time. It can watch all at once. <laughs> oh. There you go. Oh, it didn't. Nice. I'm gonna need to get rid of this phanta uh, phantom nemesis really quickly. And there's a... Oh, perfect. Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Just bounced back and forth. Yeah, let's... Oh, I thought there's a shield... Pilot. Ah, there it is. You can fuck off. Annoying. No, we're done. Alright. Activate. Oh, we're close. We're really close. Yeah, let's go steady just in case. Are those... Cigarettes? Was he here? That's a fuck ton of cigarettes. Grayson's brain is a mess. He must have been completely under Reaper control by the end. And the physical enhancements? Extremely impressive, if we could avoid having entire neural pathways rewritten in the process. Grayson's failure was due to a lack of resolve. He wasn't loyal to anything but his next dose of red sand. You'd like to try it on loyal test subjects, sir? Find volunteers among our new recruits. The physical benefits are too useful to ignore. Grayson, is that the guy from Project Overload? Overlord in Mass Effect 2. The performance upgrades are off the charts. Our troops can outfight any Alliance soldier. Roll it out. I want all troopers fitted with implants before the Reapers arrive. I'm still concerned about us losing control of our forces. Some of them are already hearing voices. When our work as Sanctuary pays off, the only voice they'll be hearing is ours. Dude, that's a really bad call. You're basically giving, taking the risk of upgrading them and getting them indoctrinated before you can control them. Dumbass. Sir. You wanted my opinion on this. It's too dangerous. No, we're close. Sanctuary was a success. We can control Reaper forces. Everything we've been fighting for, every sacrifice we've made, it's about to pay off. 
We can't lose you, sir. Humanity needs your mind, and they need it intact. I understand the danger, Janna. That's why I'm trusting you with this. As long as you're here, I know you'll keep me in line. I'm holding you to that, sir. Okay. Begin the procedure. No anesthetic. Computer, end recording. Crazy asshole. <laughs> he's, impl he's implanted himself with the Reaper tech. And no anesthetic. Why? If if I'm not wrong, I think if they're doing brain surgery, they're not supposed to be under anesthesia so that you can monitor the functions to make sure you don't cut out or damage the brain. I think we might want to do this one. All right. Yes. Yes? This is it. Stay sharp, everyone. Um, let's see how this goes. There it is, the big man's chair. We need to locate the Prothean VI. Shepard, you're in my chair. Mine now, bitch. This chair's about the only damn thing you have left. And Cerberus is finished. On the contrary, we have achieved everything I ever imagined. Almost everything. Yeah. We all saw what you accomplished on Sanctuary. But it's not the same as controlling a Reaper. A significant hurdle. But thanks to the Prothean VI, I have what I need to make it a reality. The Catalyst? Yes. What is the Catalyst? And how exactly will it help you control the Reapers? You'll have to ask the VI yourself. I'm done helping you. When did you start? You think because I'm willing to use the enemy's tactics that they're no longer my enemy? Everything, Shepard, everything I've done has uplifted humanity. Not only above other species in our galaxy, but over the Reapers. You are fucking delusional, dude. If you're willing to do everything it takes, then hand over the Catalyst. With the Crucible, we can end this. It's not that simple. It is. It's that simple. We're fighting each other while the Reapers occupy Earth. It's time to stop. Your idealism is... admirable, Shepard. But in the end, our goals are simply too disparate. I believe destroying the Reapers would be the worst mistake we could ever make. And nothing you can say will ever convince me otherwise. I've given you every chance to listen to reason. Cerberus is done. And so are you. Once again, you fail to recognize the truth. Cerberus isn't just an organization or the people behind it. Cerberus is an idea. That idea is not so easily destroyed. Besides, I've already acquired what you're looking for. Edie. I've almost got it. Edie, I'm surprised at you. Working so hard to bring about the Reaper's destruction. Don't listen to him. You could have destroyed Eva's body, but instead, you chose to control it. It was necessary. My point, exactly. I've got it. Online. Security breach detected. Enjoy your little chat, but don't overstay your welcome. You are attempting to recover me from indoctrinated forces? Yes. Yes. I need to know what the catalyst is. Security protocols have been overridden. I will comply. The catalyst enhances dark energy transmissions and coordinates the entire mass relay network. In your cycle, it is known as the Citadel. Oh ho! What? 
The catalyst is the Citadel. So the Crucible and Citadel together can stop the Reapers? That is correct. But the Citadel was built by the Reapers. The plans for the Crucible were passed down to us from the previous cycle, and countless cycles before that. At some point, it is difficult to pinpoint when. The Crucible plans were adapted to incorporate the use of the Catalyst. Presumably, the Crucible was not sufficiently powerful to defeat the Reapers. So we used their own technology against them. Precisely. It seems like a huge coincidence that the Protheon know what the Catalyst is. I don't know. I don't know, it's just something. It itches in the wrong area. Why couldn't you tell me this before? It was feared that if the Reapers were aware of the Catalyst's intended use, they would retake control of it. I am programmed to withhold that information until the Crucible is complete. It's as ready as it's gonna be. Let's get it to the Citadel. That may no longer be possible. Why? Why not? The one who broke through my security protocols, the one you call the Elusive Man, has fled to the Citadel and informed the Reapers of our purposes. Ah. Uh. Damn it! Then the Citadel is in danger. The Reapers will take control of it. They already have. The Citadel has been moved to the Reaper controlled space. Moved? To where? To the system you refer to as Soul. Earth. Correct. The Reaper forces will now consolidate power around the Catalyst and protect it at all costs. The odds of accessing it are remote. Don't count us out yet. We've come this far and we'll finish this. We'll get the Crucible to Earth. I hope you find success. Edie, get me hacked. He needs... Dude. Rude. Not so fast. You. <laughs> he did warn you not to overstay your welcome. Well, perhaps I stayed because I am looking forward to this. Fuck off. Yeah, what you gonna do? This is better than Thetia. More personal. Wait, I can't hit him. Oh. Can I disrupt him? All you're doing is making oh -ho. humanity weaker. You're using Reaper Tech. And I'm strong. We evolve or we die. Those are the options. <laughs> Bitch, where are you? Where'd he go? Oh no, he's glitched out again. Shit. Is he glitching out? No, maybe not. Is that the best you can do? How are the legs? Getting tired? I'm still slow, Shepard. I'm only slow because I'm not running. <laughs> nice. Where is he? Damn, it's not catching him. Aiden? Don't you fucking touch him. Ow. You ran at the Citadel. <gasps> oh no. You ran on this. Shut up! Oh, you're gonna cry. You're too late to stop what's coming. Maybe, maybe not. But you won't be there to see it. Is he gonna stagger? Maybe not. Let's see if I can... Where's the phantom? Oh, there she is. Yeah, fuck you. Nice. Oh.
That should have gone skidding across the floor. <laughs> Shepard, careful. Then again. I'm not that dumb. Try this. That was for fame, you son of a bitch. Yeah. Fucker. Thane was five times the, the man you are. The Reapers are preparing to complete their harvest of your species. I'll stop them. It is too late. I recommend investigating a means of conserving information for future species. Perhaps you will succeed where we fail. You didn't fail. You gave us a chance. And we're not done yet. Not sure why you need a Paragon prompt for a VI. <laughs> no, that looks so cool. Barely. I assume you've heard about the Citadel. Yep. Just now. Do we know what's going on? Why it's here? The Citadel is the catalyst. Thanks to the elusive man, the Reapers are now aware that we know. And so they moved it here to protect it? As far as I can tell. What does this mean for the Crucible? I'll talk to Hackett about that, but... It looks like our plan is even more desperate now. Agreed. I've got a team in London. The Reapers have been preparing for something here. Now, we know what for. We'll scout it out. Try to find out as much as we can. Roger that. Well, at least we'll be seeing you sooner rather than later. Be careful, sir. You too, Shepard. Anderson out. Take care, Anderson. Don't die. So, we still have other options. I don't know. Oh, let me just check. Oh, fuck. 5,000 may not be enough. Uh, I mean, we could give it a try. If I'm not wrong, it had to be 7,000. But how... I think Javik gives you insight. If you talk to him and you ask him on the status, he'll say something like, You are confident you're winning the war, blah, 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 blah. All that's left now is Earth. You ready? Hell yes. Put me in a shuttle. I don't want to kill my career. But I could be wrong. I can't remember if the threshold for best ending is five or seven thousand. Here's another one. It uh, dates back to the Rachni Wars. So a Krogan and a Solarian have landed on a Rachni world for a top secret mission. That is unlikely. Solarians rarely took part in raids on Rachni occupied worlds directly. <sighs> Missing the point. So the two guys are climbing up a hill going through this nasty green fog. And as they get near the top, they come out of the fog and the Solarian sees thousands of Rachni. He looks over at the Krogan and says, Oh, well, that makes me nervous. <laughs> Krogan says, you think that's scary? When this is over, I have to go back down through that fog by myself. The implication being that the Solarian soldier would be dead. Yes. Thank you for killing the 2,000-year-old joke. <laughs> that joke plays to racial stereotypes on both sides. The Krogan appears brutish and insensitive, while the Solarian appears weak. Stereotypes such as exemplified here led to the development and use of the genophage. Well, well, yeah. It's also one of the only jokes you'll hear both Solarians and Krogan telling. Comedy isn't really about being nice. Sometimes it's a way to air out the ugly things people think. That is true. Honestly, I feel as long as it's not taken too far. But then again, you have the issue of how far is too far.
You remember our first run to Eden Prime all those years ago? With that Tory inspector watching us? Yep. Nihilus. Yeah, I told you that mission was going to be bigger than we thought. I think you can mark that prediction down as accurate. And now we're heading back to Earth. Is this mission going to be bigger than we thought, too? Man, I hope not. A nice routine delivery run would be fine with me. It's been an honor, Commander. Same here, Joker. I don't know how it's going to end, but whatever happens. What do you mean, whatever happens? Everyone knows what's going to happen. You're going to kick some Reaper ass. That's what you do. And I'll be flying you there in style. Yeah. Oh. Commander. The Normandy is ready, Shepard. All systems are armed, all ammunition is loaded, all reloads have been manufactured. Thruster fuel is at maximum. Cyber warfare suites have evolved in ways that would be computationally impossible to predict. I have also kissed Joker for luck. <laughs> Aw, that's nice. How's your focus, Edie? Any big questions? No. Any small questions? No. Any lingering issues? About what? An imperfect designer who could be seen as a warped father figure, maybe? Definitely not. <laughs> Did something prompt this line of questioning? I've just learned you have to ask about these things. I suppose, but she seems fine. Honestly. The Normandy is ready, Shepard. Okay. So I guess we'll go one round and speak to everyone. This should be the last narrative. Last dialogue. I don't think there'll be anything else. Yeah, no, no messages either. Ready whenever you are, Commander. Specialist trainer. I'm all right, really. I'm as surprised about it as you are, but I'm all right. But you'll be fine. You're a credit to your uniform, Samantha. I had a very compelling example. Oh. Commander. You're a good egg. Now the question is, do I... I think I'll stick with the Rieger. The damage output just... is so ridiculous. Sir. Sure. Oh, nothing? Really? Let me see if there's any upgrades to get. I think we'll leave it for now. I'll, I'll, I'll keep him on the Harrier. No, sorry. I'll, I'll switch him to the Striker. Sticking it to that bastard Kai Lang must have felt good. Damn fucking it good. certainly did. Just wish we'd have caught up to the Elusive Man before he could screw us over again. You and me both. Well, at least we ready when you are. Oops, sorry. Ready when you are. Shit. Ah, <laughs> uh, I missed out on that last bit. In my hand. I was too excited. So let's see what Javik has to say about this last push. I am prepared for whatever lies ahead, Commander. The Reapers have haunted the galaxy long enough. It is time to end the nightmare. The deaths of my soldiers will be avenged. The events of the Cronian Nebula will not have been in vain. The last Prothean awaits your command. Cronian Nebula? What happened there? There was no final battle against the Reapers in my cycle. A great moment lies before you, Commander. There was no final battle against ah. the Reapers in my cycle. A great moment lies before you, Commander. So, Gabby, is it true you helped repair Edie's mobile frame after that last mission? She just needed an extra pair of hands. I am an engineer, remember? Were oils and lubricants involved? <laughs> Fuck off. Morning. <laughs> your dreams, Kenneth. If only my imagination was that. Dude, this guy is completely horny. Where's Tully? Is she upstairs? Krudek? Breaking now, Alliance Marines uncover the worst Cerberus war crimes to date. Sanctuary, advertised as a safe haven on the planet Horizon, exposed as a secret Cerberus lab. Brainwashing, lethal experiments, and Reaper connections, the exclusive details next in the battle space. Are you all right? I'm a colony kid, Shepard. Beckenstein. It was right next door to the Citadel. Was? Was. I'm sorry. Oh, was it 
The Reapers didn't even land on it to harvest. Just took a few shots from space. Holy shit. You know, because the Reapers hit industrial centers. And we have factories that make binoculars. Had factories. We're gonna beat them. Yeah. Oh, fuck, that sucks. Are you alright? I'm a colony kid, Shepard. Uh, Beckenstein. Oh, man. So the Reapers didn't really care. It was? what they did they just launched an all-out attack against any kind of facility i guess binoculars uh there shouldn't be anyone in here i guess oh she's not in oh <laughs> i know where she is i was wondering i was wondering about this not triggering hey shepherd that was rough. Nah, I so fine. relieved to see you in one piece. Ready to head home? Home. Back to Earth. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm ready. About time. About Hey Shepard. Oh. Hey Shepard. Oh no, I keep pressing too too early because they, they take such a long pause. Ah, oh, I think we we would have seen Caden drop an F bomb. Ah, that's a shame. You've come a long way since those days under Captain Anderson. Yeah. It has been my great honor to be with you through this journey. I'm proud of you. Thank you, Doctor. Goodbye, Shepard. And good luck. Oh, thank you, Chakwas. She's like a mother to us all. Liara? Did I just hear laughter? There is new information on the private messages terminal. Okay, we'll check it out. No upgrades available. Email from Captain A. Reynolds to Miranda Lawson. The Alliance wishes to express its gratitude for your assistance. With the information you've been sending us on service, we've been able to avoid ambushes they were setting up for our supply convoys. We'd offer you additional resources, but I understand you've procured a Class F private fighter and joined up with former colleagues. I also understand that several Cerberus bases were lost after being attacked by a reported group of private special operatives. Good job, Miranda. The Alliance cannot officially condone this kind of independent operation, nor do we actually confirm that these operations are taking place. Good luck, Miss Lawson. Oh, so she's doing some kind of deep cover, deep cover operative spy destroying shit. How are you holding up, Liara? Nervous. Frightened. Anxious to go. But glad I'm here. And I'm ready whenever you're ready, Shepard. In fact, I think I've checked my equipment three times. <laughs> times, Dr. Tassoni. Stop me if I try for eight. We can do this, Shepard. Yes, we can. All right. So the last person to talk to is Garrus. Let's see how he's doing. Garrus? Oh. Oh. <laughs> we were just... Uh... <laughs> I, I, well, I, I just, uh, I came to say goodbye, and, well... Uh, I uh, think one of my mandibles got hooked on her helmet. <laughs> it might have caused a rupture, so I, I asked him to check. Well, you, you know, because of infection risks, didn't want to jeopardize the mission. So... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to stand here and make it really awkward for both of them. I'm really happy for you. Both of you. Thanks, Shepard. Appreciate it. Guess it helps to have something to come back to. Yeah, it does. Um, what do you mean to come back to? This is just a fling, Bakarian. <laughs> I'm using you for your body. You're so mean. And I'm okay with that. Oh my god. <laughs> Perfect. Kill us a lie, Shepard. Kill us a lie, Tali. At least we finally killed Lieutenant Bastard Kai Lang. <laughs> Lieutenant so Bastard. Do the same to his general. It's kind of amazing how everything's come full circle. Yeah, it the is. Citadel's been the center of galactic civilization, a reaper trap, and my source of employment for a long time. And now it's our salvation for any chance at winning this war. I think it's time we got you back home, Shepard. Earth will either be remembered as the place we beat the reapers, or it'll be a smoking ruin for the next cycle to wonder about. Not right now. Yeah, you have other things on your mind. Kill us a lie, Shepard. 
All right, you two. Get on with it. I had mine. You can have yours. All right, let's go. I guess we're heading to the soul system. Here we go, local cluster. Order the fleets to Earth. 